I right, back to Fallout 3. I've effectively hoofed it towards the uh, the pit starting points. So now we just gotta walk a little bit further, and we'll uh, we'll end up making it there. This is, uh, it was my favorite DLC. I think it was actually the one that I hated the most, as I think that was a glitch. Which it, oh no, it was just a really shiny rock apparently. Um, eh, whatever. It was uh, the shortest one. Kind of the crappiest story, most annoying. Yeah, it's just, just overall bad times. Also, trying to get there is pretty annoying too, as we just randomly lag. So I gotta hope that there's a way around here. Otherwise, I am SOL. I have no idea where this is leading me to. A bunch of scorpions, it looks like. Fighting what ants? Why are they trying to fight me? Oh, the scorpions should... I have no idea what's going on. I don't even want to fight this thing. And this is just a giant dead end, so whatever. It doesn't want to attack me, fine, sure. Though I don't know how scorpions and giant ants made it back there. Um, so yeah, apparently getting to the pit is a little bit harder than I thought, since I thought I was pretty much right there, but I think I remember having this problem last time, too. Unless this is a path, which it looks like. So never mind. Hopefully this leads to victory. Otherwise, once again, we are SOL. So it looks like we might be okay. Looks like we might be good to go, something like that. If only I could make it up there, but Fallout Man cannot jump, cannot jump that high. I hate the pit. Damn the pit! And all of its crappy glory. So now that they've just put mountains in my way and stuff, so I mean they're they're trying to make it so that you can't even get to the pit. Honestly, I mean they put all this shit in your way, in the hopes that you don't actually play it. Also, if I remember correctly, it was like super glitched up when it first came out. But there's a fight going on over here. And it looks like we might have to help. I hear some pit raiders. Let's go ahead and shotgun rain this guy. Censored effectively by whatever the hell that is in front of the dude. But this guy, this girl, won't be so censored if we can actually... Oh, look at that. Look at this raining body chunks. That is great. I'm gonna loot you. Please don't run and talk to me. I haven't looted everyone yet. Thank oh. you for your help with those guys. They finally tracked me down. I thought I'd have more time. You've come about the broadcast, right? Risky, I know. But it had to be done. So you know who I am. Who are you? Well now, a hero. Look at you. I come from a place far to the northwest. It's called the Pit. It's, well, let's be honest. The place is a nightmare. Radiation, mutation, disease. But the worst of it, my people, some of the only survivors, are slaves. No big deal, you're thinking? It's a rough world, but I have a chance to free them. All I need is an outsider's help before that chance is gone. Yeah, that's why these guys were after me. As long as I know about the cure, I'm a threat. So I ran. And you can be damn sure there'll be more of them coming. The pit's a mess. Nearly everyone who lives there is either sick, dying, or worse. It's the water. And the air, you can't escape it. You stay there a few years, and no matter what, it'll get you. But the bastards who have my people, they found a way to cure it. And once they have that cure perfected, we don't stand a chance. So we need the cure to bargain for our freedom. It's the key to a cure for the mutations. Everyone in the pit is mutated in some way. Some are just sick, some are worse. The bosses have the key to the cure. With it, we can take control of the city and free my people. Well, you might try a disguise. They probably won't let some random armed waster pass the gates. But if you look like one of the working stiffs, you should be able to slip in with no problem. Lucky for us, a group of slavers is nearby waiting to make a sale. You should be able to get one off of them. They're off to the west, near the tunnel that leads to the pit. 
That should be our first move. Okay, you go get the outfit. I'll stay here and meet up with you when it's done. I'll meet you up by the tunnel that leads to the pit. You go get whatever you'll need for the trip. You won't be coming back here for a while, so keep that in mind. Cool. Where's this third dead guy at so I can loot them? I know there was a third guy. However, I don't know where they went and got blown up at. I'm sure I've seen the body. Um, but... Well, I can sleep here, actually. I can get all full health. Doesn't matter, I guess. I don't care about the body as much as I thought I did. It's only one guy. So, yes, we are going to the pit. Or, well, Pittsburgh, pretty much. And it'll be terrible. Eh, it won't be that bad, but... Compared to the other DLC, it's definitely not going to be as fun. The rewards suck. Stories, meh. There's a lot of a lot of meh going on with the pit. But, uh, at least we get to kill more raiders. I guess that's probably about the, the highlight. The highlight of the night. For the pit. And someone's already getting shot at. Which is just great. Who was getting shot? Oh, it was some guy trying to kill an ant. Well, thankfully we've got shotgun rain on our side. And that'll pretty much end that issue. Who was this? A hunter? You really got killed by a giant ant and you're a hunter? Wow. I am disappointed. Who's this? It's probably his friend. Yeah? Eh. Later. I guess it was his friend who seemingly doesn't care that his other pal is dead. We could have bought food from him. That would have been just dandy, I'm sure. Oh look, this is a oh it's a robo brain. Robo brains are kind of stupid. They're actually kind of annoying. They're incredibly armored. Well, somewhat armored. I'm sure, if I had a pulse weapon, that'd be the best thing to do. I don't remember this being. Please don't tell me like the quest got switched or no. Okay, I don't remember this being as far away as this is. I thought it was like right next to where we were at. Why they would have you go to that area and then like come all the way freaking over here beyond me? But apparently I was I was wrong. All right, I just now sleep in this bed. I could use full health. Hey, are you the guy from the pit? Wow, 100%. Wonder if I'll fail this. About damn time you showed up. We've been waiting here for fucking ever. Whatever, man. You're here now. I just hope you're ready to do business. We got three. Usual price, 200 each. Boss says no trade, so cash only. Cool. Finally! Here's the key to the gate. Do whatever you want with him. I couldn't care less. Oh, hey, Eulogy says to tell your man that we're sorry that we could only get three. We'll get a better roundup next time. Pleasure doing business with you. What a jerk. Oh, well. Oh, my God! Are you real? You're here to save us? Where are we going? My clothes? Off my back? Well, I guess. You did help us. I'm sure... I'm sure I'll make do out there in the wastes. I... Don't worry about me. I'll find something, I'm sure. Take them. Please, take them. I lost karma for that. Yes, sir. Yes, we will. Thank you again. You're very kind. No, I don't even think we really needed to do so, because there's a dead... I thought there was a dead guy sitting around in here that we could, like, steal his, uh... Steal his stuff, but... Whatever. I know last time it ended pretty violently here, so I just ended up killing right. everybody. You got a disguise. Good. Good. We're ready to head out. I'll meet you up by the tunnel that leads to the pit. You go get whatever you'll need for the trip. Okay. Whatever you say, hero. Just don't take too long. We need to get started. This ain't a short trip. Oh, it's it's much, much, much shorter than you think it is. Oh, wait, sweet. Here's the fucking tunnel right here. We're right next to it. Awesome. It's much shorter than he thinks it'll be. 